Welcome to the Ace JK Standalone Tire Carrier Installation Video. Here's what comes in the box. The tire carrier, a hardware pack with a nylon cradle, a tire stanchion, two steel shims, two hinge support brackets, two rotopack mounts, and a gate plate. And these are the tools you'll need to complete this install. A 19mm socket, an impact wrench, an air ratchet if you have it, with a 13 millimeter socket, a ratchet with a T50 Torx bit, a 5 16 Allen wrench, a 5 millimeter Allen wrench, a 13 millimeter wrench, a 14 millimeter wrench, two 3 quarter inch wrenches, a ratchet with a 15 16 socket, a 3 quarter inch socket, a T20 Torx bit, a torpedo level, a mallet, and not pictured, a grease gun. Step one, using a 19 millimeter socket, remove your factory spare tire. Step two, Using a T20 Torx bit, remove the four bolts on the rear of the factory third brake light bracket. Then unplug the wire harness from the light and pull the wire out from the hooks. Step three, using a 13 millimeter ratchet, remove the eight bolts holding the tire carrier to the Jeep. Once it's removed, clean up the area with the shop rag. Step four, remove the plastic hinge covers by opening up the tailgate and pushing in the two clips holding them on and then pulling them away from the Jeep. As you remove them, note which one was top and which one was bottom. You'll be reinstalling these later and they're each slightly different. Next, grab the corners of the plastic hinge guards and pull them off of the Jeep. Don't worry about top or bottom here, we will not be reinstalling these. Now remove the factory isolators by pulling them out. If you're not wiring in a third brake light, pull the plug out, feed the wire back into the hole until it's completely hidden and insert the plug back into the tailgate to seal it up. Step five, using a 13 millimeter socket, remove the two bolts holding the top hinge to the tailgate. It's important to only have one hinge unbolted at a time so you don't misalign the tailgate. Now using a T50 Torx bit, remove the three bolts holding the top hinge from the rear corner of the Jeep. Again, clean up the area with a shop rag. Step six, Align the factory hinge with the new hinge support bracket and slide it so the holes match up. Using a 5mm Allen wrench, mount the hinge and hinge support bracket using three of the provided taper head bolts. Do not tighten these bolts down yet. Step 7. Insert the steel shim between the tailgate and the factory hinge using these provided bolts and washers. Hand tighten the hinge to the tailgate. Step 8. Place the torpedo level on top of the hinge support bracket and adjust the hinge until it's level. Once it's level, use a 13 millimeter socket to tighten the hinge and shim to the tailgate. Once that's tight, use your five millimeter Allen wrench to tighten down the flathead screws in the hinge support bracket. Step nine, repeat steps five through eight on the lower hinge. Tighten down the hinge to the tailgate, but leave the taper head screws holding the hinge support bracket on a little loose. Step 10, Using the factory bolts you removed in step three, install the gate plate onto the tailgate. Make sure the cradle mount is in the bottom left position and leave the bolts just a little bit loose. Step 11. Using the two 3 8 by one and a quarter bolts and washers, attach the nylon cradle onto the cradle area. Be sure to install it with the chamfer tied in towards the weld and just hand tighten. Step 12. Grab your 5 8 shoulder bolts Remove the nut and two of the washers, leaving one washer still on each bolt. Lift the carrier into place and slide a shoulder bolt and washer into each hinge cradle until they're seated. Place a large washer on the bolt first, then a small washer, then hand tighten the nut on. Step 13. Open the carrier and use your 5mm Allen wrench to tighten down the three taper head bolts in the bottom hinge. You will probably need to open the tailgate as well to get to some of the bolts. Step 14. Close the tailgate and close the carrier to see that the bump out on the carrier is seating inside the cradle. If it's not lined up, open the carrier and adjust the gate plate up or down until it's perfectly aligned. You can also adjust the nylon cradle if you need more movement. Once you have it where you want it, close the carrier to hold the gate plate in place and tighten down a few of the bolts you can get to with the carrier closed. Then open up the carrier and tighten down the remaining bolts on the gate plate as well as the bolts holding the nylon cradle. Step 15. 
Now we're going to install the heim joint. You'll need the heim joint, the smaller bolt with small spacer, and the larger bolt with two spacers. You're going to start by using the smaller bolt to install the heim joint onto the gate plate. Remove the nut, lock washer, and spacer from the bolt. Then place the heim joint with the spacer on top in between the two tabs on the gate plate. Insert the bolt with the washer through the hole on the driver's side of the gate plate, then through the spacer, heim joint, and lower gate plate tab. Put on a lock washer and hand tighten the nut. Now close the gate and line up the heim joint with the hole in the tab on the carrier. Place the small spacer underneath the heim joint and the large spacer on top. Place the bolt through with a washer on top and put a lock washer on the bottom and hand tighten the nut on. Step 16. Now you'll want to adjust the heim joint. Open the tailgate a few inches and see if the cradle is making contact with the bump out on the carrier. If it is, that's great. If not, adjust the length of the heim joint by adjusting the turnbuckle one way or another until you have the desired length. Once you have it to where you want it, close the door to evaluate. If it closes well and there's contact between the two, that's what you're looking for. Step 17. Now that the heim joint is adjusted, we're going to remove the outside bolt, spacers and washers so we can open up the carrier and tighten the jam nuts. Using two 3 quarter inch wrenches, hold the coupler and fully tighten both jam nuts. Using the same wrenches, tighten down the bolt holding the heim joints to the gate plate. Step 18. Feed the heim joint back through the carrier and install the bolt in the same orientation as before. Bolt, washer, top carrier tab, large spacer, heim joint, small spacer, bottom carrier tab, lock washer, and nut. This might be a bit tight now, so if you need, use a mallet and wrench to get the spacers in place and the bolt through it all. Go ahead and use your two 3 quarter inch wrenches to fully tighten that bolt and make sure the tailgate closes good. Step 19. Using the four supplied bolts, we're going to install the tire stanchion to the carrier. Insert the bolts through the stanchion and carrier and use a lock washer and nut on each bolt. Using a 3 quarter inch ratchet and wrench, tighten down all the bolts. Step 20. Using two half inch bolts on each side, install the Rotopax mounts onto the carrier. You'll want to line these up so the outside of the mount is flush with the carrier. The holes are threaded, so you can just use a 3 quarter inch socket to tighten them down. The holes on the Rotopack mounts are slotted so you can adjust them a bit to get the rotopacks in a position of your liking. If you're not running rotopacks, just line them up so they're the same on each side as they help stabilize the tire. Step 21. Reinstall the plastic hinge covers by clipping them back in place. Make sure you install them in the correct position as we mentioned earlier. Step 22. We're almost finished, but while we have the tire still off, we can go through the features of this carrier. You have the two rotopack mounts on the top of the carrier, there's an accessory area on the right side where you can mount our optional high lift mount and other future accessories. And if you open the tailgate and look down, you'll see there's an antenna mount built into the gate plate. Step 23. Before you put the tire on, you'll want to loosen the bolt in the back of the stanchion. This will allow you to adjust the length of the tire stanchion to fit the back spacing of your tire. As you lift the tire onto the stanchion, be careful as it might move a little bit because that adjustment bolt is loose. Once it's on, go ahead and thread on and tighten your lug nuts. Now open up the tailgate and tighten down the adjustment bolt with a 15 16 socket until your tire is resting on the Rotopack mount snugly. Now that the tire is tight, use a 3 quarter inch wrench to tighten down the jam nut on the top of the stanchion until it's extremely tight. Step 24. Shut the tailgate, attach a grease gun to the top and then bottom zerk fittings and grease up the carrier well. This is something you'll want to do about every 3,000 miles to ensure that your tire carrier continues to operate smoothly. Wipe off any excess grease and you're all finished. Congratulations, you've just completed the ACE JK standalone tire carrier installation. Now get out there and test it out.